A broad monsoonal gyre is developing in the West Philippine Sea, and on top of that, a new low looks like it could be developing into the Philippine Sea, moving on short across parts of Visayas and into Mindanao. Now, it's these twin lows that are going to increase showers across the Philippines and into the Indochina Peninsula. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, as always, doing my best to keep you posted on what's happening out here in the Western Pacific. First, before I get into more detail here, though, I do want to say one quick thing. I love you guys here at Westpac Weather, especially in the Eastern Asia. And even when I worked on TV at NHK World in Tokyo, um, the response to these updates, especially these informative ones where we're talking about the potential for storm systems, and even a day like today where we don't have a named storm, but I do want to show you the increase in the flood threats and everything like that. Most of you, nearly all of you, understand that concept and you understand, you know, what we're trying to do here is inform and educate. Uh, I don't know what it is about the Atlantic and just uh, the comment sections on the videos I post out there working with First Coast News. So frustrating sometimes. People just saying we're trying to hype it when there is a hurricane out there could become a major hurricane and I give the analysis saying it's not going to hit that specific area that people are worried about. Ugh, just anyways yeah i don't know if it's a cultural difference and i've worked all around the world but i could tell you southeast asia y'all get it you understand and i appreciate that and that's where i want to leave with that so with that said at this time yeah, there's this big monsoonal trough out here. It is increasing showers across the Philippines. We're already seeing that. You take a look at JTBC, they don't have any threat areas at this time. But I do want to talk about, you know, the potential for this. And that's the key thing. First off, let's look over towards our satellite imagery here. And my goodness, we have this broad low. You see the LPA right in there. Here is basically that float. It's already skirting around. And another kind of weaker, shallower LPA just towards the east of Luzon. Now, do I expect this to develop into a typhoon? No. Do I anticipate an increase in rainfall, maybe a tropical depression to a tropical storm? Yeah, maybe, especially if this comes on shore there in the southern Hainan. It doesn't have a lot of time, but the warm waters off of Hanoi here have a history of wrapping things up pretty quickly. So that's something we really want to watch out for. But really, the big topic is just the moisture flow, especially for southern areas of China over towards northern Vietnam, as that kind of continues to kick on shore. And we can even see that combined with this other low, little shallow low kicking across the Philippines. That's increasing rainfall. So you see that wrapping around just like that, basically kicking back towards the north. Here's our storm system as it kicks off just like that. And then you get that secondary low right over there that's kind of moving into the Philippines. And then even, even other shallow low just like that. So yeah, there is a lot of moving parts here. It really is. It's just a smorgasbord of different areas of low pressures and these monsoonal rivers of moisture kind of setting up and interacting with each other. And the waves really show the broader picture here too. Very, a lot of turmoil out here in the west philippine sea so yeah a lot of those islands out there you know those contested stuff gonna be a pretty uh pretty choppy if you get my drift so yeah that's one thing you're gonna watch out for there but in general no i don't see any typhoons not even in the extended forecast at this point i don't really see anything popping off given the fact it is um uh mid-august it's actually kind of unusual for the western pacific usually by this time of year it's rather busy with that said though yeah you can see here sunday into monday we have this little low that's moving on shore i say little it actually could be a tropical storm at that point but it would be short-lived if it did develop back over towards the philippines though the east side of this whole monsoon of gyre still bringing some breezy conditions parts of mindanao even over here on saturday into sunday around subic i know we had uh, some people that just wrote me earlier saying you know uh, they plan on kind of dodging some of those breezy conditions and rainy uh passing showers especially into the afternoon into the evening and that's going to be the case but the good news is by well hopefully sunday evening a lot of this does start to taper off and kind of drift off towards the west so we look at our flyover for sunday yeah, we've still got the scattered showers from that shallow low kind of kicking off across parts of Visayas over towards Palawan. Then we head back towards the north. It really is the west coast of Luzon, including Manila. Could be looking at those scattered showers out there. High of 31 there in Manila. Subic's at 31. See Baguio at 23 with that increase in the rainfall. So, yeah. Anyways... Yeah, it's a quick update today. I've had a day. I had like a 13-hour work day. But just oof and just dealing with people that i think they just they don't like to watch the full video 
they, they just look at the thumbnail and kind of freak out. It, it, I need to de-stress. I do that by talking with you guys at Western Pacific Weather. Uh, so many of you appreciate these updates and you support these updates at our Patreon. And I, I'm happy that they are useful and um, hopefully you'll make a difference in uh, you planning and staying safe out there. And that's my goal and has been my goal since I started these updates way back in 2009. Can you believe it's been that long? 2009. Don't, don't look up my early updates. Please don't do that. I know I'm mean, saying that, <laughs> but it just they are bad. They are rough around the edges. And uh, it's been many years kind of improving and learning, studying with JMA, studying with people from Bagasa, just learning. And um, my next goal is to write a book for you all. And um, I just love forecasting tropical systems out here. I hope they do help. Anyways, whew, stay safe out there, friends. I hope you have a good day, okay?